you today. We are on every Wednesday at 1230 because we want to give you some awesome tips on how to live a natural life because our mission is to empower busy women with simple tools to live a vibrant life. And part of that vibrant life is definitely feeling empowered and not hungry all the time, especially around the holidays, especially on the go is something that we find really, really helpful. So we wanted to share our tips on how you can stay healthy. Even if you feel like you're never at home to cook and you're always on the go, there's definitely tricks that you can use. And we have tried, you know, try these and, and tried again until we found some great ones. And we wanted to share those with you. So I'm just going to dive right in today's broadcast. We're going to try to keep short so you can, you know, maybe not have to set a chunk of time to watch it that you can watch it in about, you know, 15 minutes. We thought that would be a great time frame. Let us know. Would you like shorter videos? Would you like longer videos? We want to know and hear from you on what is best for you, what kind of tips you want, any kind of topic that you have, please leave those in the comments or um, you can message us with us for sure because we want to be covering the things that you want to know about. So on the topic today of healthy guide to food on the go, it, you know, at the top of this, it is so very important to be prepared. I think this is, you know, just the whole theme of traveling on the go and being in, busy, it's so easy to just grab unhealthy things if you are not prepared. So these tips and tricks that, that we use are definitely going to help you be prepared no matter how busy you are, um, just everyday life. Or if you travel out of town or, or something like that, it's definitely going to help you in any of those situations. So just with the holidays, we thought this would be a great topic because there are so many people that do travel and are more busy during the holidays. Um, one of the main things that we love to do is, is make it easy and we, we love to eat salads. So we wanted to kind of start there and, and give you some tips around how to make that really easy to travel with. Julie is brilliant and showed me a, a great tip a while ago and I use it all the time. Never throw away the, the salad container that your lettuce came in. You know, those plastic ones, they're different sizes. They are perfect to take a salad on the go in and you don't have to worry about keeping it with a dish and washing it. So always make sure to save those. That's one of the, the best tips on carrying, you know, a meal like that, whether it be lunch or dinner, um, as far as a salad goes. So um, put your salad in there. You can put all your toppings on there. You can even put your salad dressing in a little container inside the bigger container. So it's all in one neat little package. Another thing that Julie showed me was you can actually buy those little cups that have the lids on them, kind of like you get at takeout restaurants. You can buy those at Kroger. I've seen them at Walmart as well. Those are awesome to take not only salad dressings, but some of the other things that we'll talk about, like nuts or you know, seeds or Sir Julie has some other ways that, you know, things that she carries in there that she'll mention. But that's a great thing to put your salad dressing in. It keeps it all in a nice one container. So that that's really something that I take on the go a lot because it's so easy. And it's obviously very nutritious and filling. I love to eat salads. And um, so that would be tip number one is to take your salad in a to-go container and you're all ready and set. So um, the second thing. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I mentioned one thing. If you don't maybe buy lettuce in those um, plastic boxes really is, is, is kind of what they are, but you want to not have to take, you know, dishes with you that you have to bring home and clean. Nobody really wants to do that. You can actually put everything for your salad in like a Ziploc plastic bag and then just roll down the top and you can actually eat it out of that. I've done that too. So, I mean, you don't have to have those containers. I just like to think of ways that make it super easy and simple and the cleanup is, is, is super easy. So that's another tip that you can try as well if you don't have those plastic containers. Yes, for sure. Thank you for that. You're like the pro. I mean, this it was so funny. We were laughing because over the weekend we went to a retreat and somehow it got brought up that Julie takes her food everywhere. <laughs> I do as well, but she really takes hers everywhere. So um, she's like the queen at this. Take some tips from her and make it super easy on yourself. She's learned all the great tricks. So that's why we're on here today to share those. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing was, you know, if you are taking a salad with you, this is it's great to bring some type of protein. Now, you could put the protein in with the salad already in that container that we spoke about. Or if you're going out to a restaurant and you're not really sure you want to eat the meat there for whatever reason, um, it's great to bring tuna to put on top of the salad or eat along with something. Very easy to take with you. They make the little packs of tuna. 
or sometimes they have tuna in a can that has a pop top. Either one of those is a great way to get your protein in and make it really easy and, and stay filled up because that's one of the things if you if you bring snacks but they're not as filling, you're going to be more apt to just you know grab something that may be unhealthy and kind of go down that path. So we, we want to keep you from that and um, definitely a, enough protein and fiber is, is very important. So tuna is great for that. Um, the next one, oh, sure. Sorry, I was just going to um, mention as far as topping salads because I am kind of the salad queen, I would say. <laughs> Pretty much everywhere I go, I have a salad with me, um, and I just love them. Uh, and not to mention, of course, they're nutritious uh, as long as you're putting, you know, some healthy items on there. In addition to the tuna, a lot of times I'll keep some extra um, chicken, like grilled chicken, left in my refrigerator, and I'll just dice that up and throw that onto the salad. If you maybe don't eat meat or if you're not wanting to eat any meat that day, another option that I love for protein is hemp seed. So I'll take those little cups that Carrie mentioned and put a couple of tablespoons of hemp seed in that. And I won't, I won't put that on the salad because then those can kind of get moist on the lettuce. So I'll take it in a little cup and then I'll just dump it on right at the end. And that's a really three tablespoons, I think, has um, 10 grams of protein. So that's, that's quite a bit, actually. So that's just another tip for kind of getting that protein in. Because like Carrie said, you've got to have the protein to stay full, the fiber from the veggies that you put on there, and also a healthy fat whether you're putting maybe some avocado on your salad or maybe just some olive oil in the salad dressing. That would be another healthy fat. And all of that together helps keep you fuller, longer, and not craving all the bad stuff. That's a great point. And also putting that all together really helps everything get well absorbed as well. That's really important. Like when you eat veggies, you do need to eat it with protein and fat so that it all gets, um, you know, to where it needs to go and gives you the energy and, and the vitality that it should. So great point. Um, the next thing to have on hand on the go, especially not always have these is like nuts or fruit, especially nuts, because they're very easy. They don't go bad necessarily unless you keep them in the heat too long or something like that. So that's a great thing to take on the go, whether it be, you know, a mix that you already buy or a mix that you make yourself. Julie made some awesome roasted nuts this weekend that we were all loving. So try to mix it up. You know, if you usually eat, you know, raw nuts or, or maybe you buy them from the store. It's really nice to make your own because you can put different spices on it and they just really taste different and fun and new. So I find that that's really the way that I don't, I don't get tired of eating certain things is that I try to mix it up, put a different spice on there, make it a different way. You know, different things like that is very essential in, in living a healthy life because you don't want to eat these same exact foods every single day. That gets kind of boring and that's why a lot of people don't stick with it is because they get bored. So I would just encourage you to do that. But something like nut butters is also great. We love almond butter to put on an apple or a banana or something like that. That's a great snack and they make those nut butters now that come in the packets that are just like one serving. So that's a great way you can keep it in your purse or in the car or, you know, wherever you might go on a plane, something like that. It won't leak. So that's it's great. Look for those. I know that Justin's makes one. and I, I think I see a lot more of those coming out because they are so convenient. Fruit um, to go with the nuts or eat by itself, of course, like apples and bananas and grapes. So, you know, really anything like that is very convenient to take those type of things. Yes, they do spoil, obviously, you know, if they get left out in the heat for a long time or just, you know, you can't really keep them more than a couple hours or a day. But those type of things are great for on the go. Now, the next thing was vegetables for snacking. So a lot of times we don't really think about, you know, we have all these other snacks like bars and chips and all those things. But vegetables are really yummy to, to snack on, especially if you dip them in like hummus or guacamole, even a nice vinaigrette, like a balsamic, maybe that's a little bit thicker or the lemon tahini dressing is amazing for dipping vegetables in. So something like that is different and it's fun and, it's, and it tastes great. And I love that I can make a salad dressing and put it on a salad. I can put it on like cooked vegetables and I can also dip fresh vegetables in there. Some vegetables that are great for dipping, obviously, are little carrots, um, celery, raw broccoli. Um, I love cucumbers as well. I'm sure, you know, in any kind of vegetable like that, uh, bell pepper is another one that's awesome. So different things, keeping those on hand in the fridge, you know, you all know this if, if you're used to eating this way, but 
think about trying to take that with you and either add it to a meal or, you know, snack on it in between meals. It's a great thing. Um, crackers are another good thing to keep on hand. Obviously, they don't go bad as well, just kind of like nuts. Um, some brands that we love that I'll quickly mention, but just to let you know, we also are going to put all the brands that of the things that we speak about that we love underneath this post. So if you're curious, you know, like, well, I don't know if you're at the store, you don't know which ones to get. Not that our brands are the only ones that are awesome. Definitely not saying that, but we just wanted to give you some ideas so that if you see it, you're like, oh, well, they use this and they love it and it's a good brand. So we wanted to provide those with you. So we'll, we'll put those under this post. You can have them for reference. So crackers, you can go really wrong with crackers. <laughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of crackers that appear to be healthy. They have all these great names on them, but they're not necessarily that great for you. So three brands that we love, Mary's Gone, Simple Meals, and the CTA. They're not necessarily crackers, they're chips, but those are three brands that have awesome ingredients. And if you see those, pick up a box and add them to us, you know, maybe dip them in the salad dressing on a salad or eat them with the salad or dip in guacamole, anything that you would normally eat crackers with, just try to get a little bit of a better brand. You can, you can, I love to add crackers sometimes to salads. I don't always eat them with that, but it's just nice, a nice change. Like I mentioned, changing it up. So I love to do that. And then um, lastly, kind of touched on this a little bit before, but the, the nuts that are great snacks, if you put those with maybe raisins or different things that you, you know, dried fruit, I don't like to eat a whole lot of dried fruit, but in a trail mix that I was going to mention is a great thing to just, again, swap out the normal mixed nuts and just throw some different things in there and make your own trail mix. So Julie's going to tell us a few more tips um, about how we can be healthy on the go. Yeah, those were great tips. Um, as far as the trail mix goes, I love, my kids love to make their own trail mix. And like you said, um, just some mixed nuts. Uh, raisins, cranberries, you know, a little bit of dried fruit, and a lot of times they'll throw in some chocolate chips too. Uh, you know, a lot of those uh, trail mixes have uh, that kind of, you know, the, the chocolate and the fruits and the nuts in them. So letting them just make their own is such a healthier option. And that way they can just choose, you know, what they want and what they like, and you can kind of customize. Now, the next thing that I do take uh, with me when I travel, because I'm kind of, I really have kind of like a scarcity mindset when it comes to food. <laughs> because like I never want to be somewhere without food because I know that what's going to happen is that I'm going to make a bad choice. You know, I'm going to think, well, I'm starving. And then now I don't have anything with me. I didn't prep or prepare, you know, so then it's not going to probably go over so well. I'm going to have to maybe make not as good of a choice. So that's why it's super, another reason that it's super important to just really always be prepared. So I always have snacks with me and bars are another good one. I don't like to eat these all the time, but if you're traveling and you can get some healthy bars beforehand and keep them with you, that's a really good option. I would say some of the best bars, most people are familiar with Lara bars. Those are good. Those typically have you know, clean ingredients in them. They're sweetened with dates, typically, or dried fruit and nuts. My One of my favorites, and I know Carrie likes these as well, are called RX bars. They're great. They have basically just dates and nuts in them as well. I try to stay away from, and I would encourage you to stay away from protein bars. Most protein bars have a, a lot of unhealthy and kind of unclean ingredients in them. There may be some out there, um, you know, that you can find that are, that are great, but most of the ones that I've tried, they just um, don't have the best ingredients in them. Now, the next thing that I love to have on hand, and I'll take these with me as kind of a dessert when we're traveling, are our chocolate um, energy bites. And this recipe, we'll link to it as well in the comments with everything else that Carrie mentioned. But this recipe is on our website. It takes probably 10 minutes to make. And you you basically are just making almost like your own Lara little balls. I mean, that's kind of what it um, reminds me of because it's they're sweetened with dates. And then they have nuts. And I typically put some... Um, cacao or cocoa powder in there and they're just delicious. So I roll them into balls, keep them in the freezer. And that way you can just pop one out whenever you're wanting like a little bit of a sweet treat. But I carry those with me when I travel as well. 
The next thing that my kids love to snack on is popcorn. And popcorn, if you're getting a good uh, quality brand and it's non-GMO because most corn products are products are genetically modified. So when you're buying something that has corn in it, you do need to make sure that it says non-GMO. Uh, but popcorn has, it's, it's a whole grain. It has a lot of fiber in it, actually. So that's not a bad option for snacking. And most kids and adults, you know, love uh, popcorn. Now, you can certainly, if you're at home, not related to travel, but you could certainly make your own popcorn. That is so simple and easy. You just buy the kernels, put a little bit of coconut oil, you know, in a pot. And we actually have a video on this that uh, I think Chloe did. Is that right? I think she showed a video on how you can make that in the microwave. So you could um, also search that and find that on our page. But that's another really great one. I always take, uh, you know, like Carrie said, fruits, nuts, crackers, popcorn, those kind of things. I have a little snack bag in the car, no matter where we're going, because it's inevitable right when you get in the car, the kids are going to be hungry, right? They're like starving and they just ate. So um, that's going to happen. Another thing that is good to take if you're taking a cooler is yogurt or maybe like a yogurt pot that you have frozen and then put it into your cooler. Um, I do love Sigus is a really good brand that does not have a lot of sugar. When you're buying yogurt, you really do need to look at the sugar content because many of those have a lot of added sugar and, and unwanted ingredients. So do read your labels on that. And Kite Hill is another excellent brand that's, that's um, dairy free. It's made out of almond milk and it's, oh it's, my gosh, it's so delicious. So that's another one of our favorite uh, brands. <clears throat> Now, just a couple other tips. I always take a cooler with me, no matter if we're just going on a two hour trip or an overnight trip, because I like to put some of the items that we mentioned that need to stay cool, but I always bring water with us. We start out with, we all have a big bottle like this of water, and then I'll bring just some plastic water bottles because Everybody's going to be thirsty. Otherwise, I'm going to have to stop at the store. Even if I buy water, it's going to be more expensive than what I brought from home. So I always just can't just travel with a cooler with me. So that might be something that you want to think about. Just a little small, like a six pack um, cooler. And then, when you know, when you're traveling um, in an airplane, then, you know, when you go through um, security, you can't take your water if you have a bottle of water. So I always, again, make sure that we have our stainless containers because you can pour the water out and then just go through security and refill it. So that's another um, thing to just make sure you have with you to stay hydrated. And really, this is just all about doing the very best that you can, you know, and you're not always going to be perfect or get it right. I mean, we certainly are not, but the doing the best you can reading the labels on your food. I mean, that is a huge step to just be a label reader and know exactly what you are purchasing and putting into your body and your kid's body so that you can get the best nutrition possible, you know, into your diet. Another um, great thing that I love to do is to, when we're traveling somewhere, I go ahead and kind of, plan out and think about if I'm going to eat out, what restaurants are there and maybe what choices and options there are. You know, you can look up the nutritional profile on many restaurants um, on their dishes. So you could kind of go ahead and just really be thoughtful and mindful of that in advance. And if you use an app like MyFitnessPal, most you know, larger restaurants have the nutritional content in there. You can just type it in. So those are some really good resources to have so that you can make a little bit of a better and healthier choice. And it's really those little things over time that lead to the big changes. So just making those, taking those small steps and small changes. It might seem small, but that's what's going to get you to your goal and where you want to go. So please leave um, any questions or comments, you know, um, here and we'd be happy to answer those. We will post some of our favorite brands that we tried and that we love and continue to buy just so that you'll have those for options. 
And we'll be back with you next week. Um, this was fun. We love sharing this kind of information. If there are topics that you'd like to see us cover um, on future episodes, please let us know. Please include those in the comment or you can certainly private message us. Um, and we'd be happy to um, to do some of those topics that, that help you out. So we hope you have a great rest of the day and we will see you next week.